Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Steven from the Pollens Studios and here is another case law, Marshall versus Canada. Case law is not meant for people interested to apply for immigration or permanent residence to Canada, but may be used by those who feel the system may not be fair or to gain an understanding of the recourse available in Canada for a negative decision. Content for this video is sourced from information distributed by Thomson Reuters. Judgment for this case is attached in my blog reportersreport.com as a PDF document. This is an immigration case law and also covers topics like person in need of protection. Applicant immigrated to United States with his parents when he was a child. While in the United States, the applicant was con uh, convicted for possession with intent to distribute heroin and was jailed for six years. Applicant was subsequently deported back to country of origin. Applicant came to country to Canada on a visitor visa and later unsuccessfully claimed refugee status. Applicant received negative pre-removal risk. Applicant submitted letter from member of police force and a letter from the member of prison service, both of which indicated applicant would be killed upon his return to country of origin. Officer determined letters were insufficient to rebut state protection, particularly since source of confidential information was not revealed. Applicant sought judicial review, application granted. Credibility was at crux of matter. If member of police force and member of service existed and did write letters, they could not be dismissed for failing to give full particulars of their confidential informant information. Applicants' credibility and state protection would have to be analyzed with that in mind. Full disclosure was to be given of correspondence between High Commission of Canada and authorities in country of origin so that the applicant would have opportunity to respond. Assessment of risk would only be determined following oral interview. Very interesting case. Marshall versus Canada dated July the 13th, 2015, Federal Court of Canada. Thank you.